During one of the recent live streams, Frontier announced that they are not quite done yet with the PC version of Planet Zoo. This gives us hope for at least one more DLC and addition of new animals. Today I would like to share with you guys my updated wishlist for the animals that I would love to see in the game. Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates, and welcome back to my channel. I uploaded my last Habitat Animal wishlist over a year ago and quite quite a lot of the animals that I included there ended up being added to the game, so I decided to update the list and add new animals that I would also love to see one day in Planet Zoo. Here is my previous list of the habitat species that I wanted to see in the game. All the green names are the animals that have been already added. As you guys can see, I was able to guess quite a lot of them. I don't want to repeat the species from the previous list that are still not included in the game in today today's list. I of course would still love to see them being added to the game one day. Today we'll replace the ones that ended up being added to the game and add some more. I know that you guys also really wanted to see my wishlist of the fully aquatic animals, but at this point I don't think that they will ever be added to Planet Zoo. I would love to see them of course, but I think that realistically we can expect more terrestrial habitat animals being added and today we'll focus on them. A lot of animals included here are the ones that I saw during my recent zoo tours that you can see on my Instagram. The link is down in the description. Again, my list is even longer now and I am fully aware that I won't see the day when all of those animals will be added, but I would be super happy to see at least some of them in the game. I again arrange the animals in specific groups and their order has no particular meaning. Okay, without further ado, let's begin and let's bring back Caesar's list. Let's kick things off with the group that is still highly underrepresented in Planet Zoo, birds. Again, we won't focus here on flying birds as I did a separate complete wishlist on them, but we'll include some more terrestrial birds in here. I think that the recent addition of the mute swan really opened the door for more waterfowl, water birds and wading birds to be added to the game and I personally would love to see more of those birds in my zoos. My updated wishlist includes here the storks such as the massive African marabou stork as scavenger with a bold hat and long neck similar to the vultures. The beautiful black stork that covers long distances while migrating between Europe, Asia and Africa. And the white stork that is very common in Europe where it spends the warmer months of the year. My previous list included some examples of the waterfowl such as the mute swan that has already been added, so let's add some more. The nene or the Hawaiian goose is a beautiful bird endemic to Hawaiian islands. The black-necked swan lives in South America and sort of looks like a mix between the mute and black swan, so unique. The mallard duck would be a perfect companion for the mute swans. You can often see those two species living together in ponds and lakes of European countries. Some of the wading birds that I would still love to see in the game are for example the stunning long-tailed blue crane native to South America, the widespread grey heron, a skillful fish catcher with the distinctive black feathers on its head. We already have the greater flamingo in the game, but I believe that we could use a new species such as the American flamingo that would add a pop of color to our zoos. Other terrestrial birds that would make perfect addition to the game include Takahe, which is the vulnerable flightless bird native to New Zealand, just as the kiwi, otherwise known as the swamp hen. This is the super plyra bird, an Australian bird that displays one of the most sophisticated voice skills within the animal kingdom. This adorable little fella is a California quail. It has a characteristic curving crest made out of six feathers and is a state bird of California. Last but not least, when it comes to birds, here we have the chinstrap penguin. Its name comes from the narrow black band under its head that makes it look like it's wearing a black helmet. This is another penguin besides the rock hopper that I would really love to see in Planet Zoo. I wasn't that lucky when it came to predicting the additions of primates, as only the lark gibbon from my last list has been added to Planet Zoo. I really believe that we should have more diversity 
here, especially when it comes to smaller species as they are really popular in modern zoos. I decided to extend my list here and include species like the only wild monkey living in Europe, the Barbary macaque. That is a fairly common zoo animal that lives in Gibraltar and North Africa. Another African species, the common patas monkey, is the fastest runner among all the primates, reaching the speeds of 55 km per hour. The beautiful De Brazos monkey has an orange diadem and white beard. It is another African species on this list, but it is quite unique because of the pair bonding which is rather unusual in primates. Some people think that the Diana monkey got its name after Princess Diana, but it is actually named for its white brow which is said to resemble the bow of the Roman goddess Diana. It is a black and wild old world monkey. The Vervet monkey is a mostly herbivorous monkey with black face and grey body. It is another African monkey that is very popular in zoos. It's time to visit the Madagascar for a second because here we have the cockerel Sifaka, a critically endangered species of lemur with large yellow eyes and mostly white fur. Another unique species from Madagascar on my list is the Ai Ai. It is the world's largest nocturnal primate and has a very long and thin middle finger that is used to grab larvae from tree trunks. It would be such a cool addition for our nocturnal houses. Now let's fly over to South America where we can find the cotton top tamarind, a critically endangered small monkey from Colombia known for its impressive white crest. Another unique South American species is the white-faced sake. Males of this species have distinctive white fur on their faces which is the great contrast to the rest of their black body. I also decided to add two more species from Asia to my list. The Francois Langer that is native to China and Vietnam and has a characteristic pointy hairstyle and white sideburns. The second Asian species is the Sanda Slow Loris that went viral for its adorable appearance and slow moves and it unfortunately contributed to its endangered status because of the growing demand in the exotic pet trade. You guys know how much I love my hoofstock species. I love building for them and they are one of the most popular groups of animals in zoos. My previous wish list included some really iconic species that are still missing in the game such as the common elant, greater kudu or the generic, but I was still able to predict some of them such as the adax, somali wild ass or takin, so let's add some more. My list here is quite long so I will try to be quick. To make things easier I grouped them in several categories, firstly we'll cover some missing antelopes. The Hartebeest is a large African antelope with uniquely elongated forehead and oddly shaped horns. Here we have a similar toppy antelope, another African species that is highly social and lives in savannas and semi-deserts. This is the critically endangered Hirola. Its global population is estimated between 300 and 500 individuals. It has white spectacles around its eyes. This beautiful antelope is the common red lechwe, a cousin of the Nile lechwe that we already have in the game. It is found in swampy areas where it feeds on the aquatic plants. One of the largest antelopes on our planet, the Rowan antelope, is named for its Rowan color that is described as reddish brown. I I saw the Arabian oryx in several zoos. It is the smallest member of the oryx genus and just as the scimitar horned oryx it used to be extinct in the wild but was saved by zoos and private reserves and introduced into the wild in the 1980s. The oribi is a smaller antelope species with beautiful golden coat. Males have tiny pointy horns that honestly are more adorable than intimidating. My previous list included one of the tiny species of the African antelopes, the dig dig. I really think that it would be so cool to have some more of those small species in the game for some more variation in available ungulates, that's why I decided to add some more. The Sunni antelope is one of the smallest ungulates on Earth. It is only about 30 to 40 centimeters high at the shoulder and weighs around 5 kilograms. It is hard to believe that it is still considered the antelope. The blue diker is another tiny antelope that lives in tropical forests of Central Africa. I fell in love with this little antelope the second that I saw it during my visit to the San Diego Zoo. This is the Clip Springer, a small antelope that lives in African mountains such as the Kilimanjaro. The most distinctive thing about 
them is that they walk on the tips of their hooves, which makes them look like they want to be quiet all of the time. The recent addition of the Takin brought in our Capri roster in the game, but there are still so many cool species that could be included in the game. I already mentioned the Markhor and Audat in my last wishlist, but I still want to mention some more. First of all, here we have the very requested animal by the community, the Musk Ox. It is native to Arctic region and is known for its thick coat and strong odor emitted by males. The Bighorn Sheep is named for its large horns. It lives in mountains of North America. Another North American species that I wanted to mention here is the Mountain Goat. It has a white woolly coat that protects it from the cold. Himalayan Tar is a caprid that lives in mountainous regions of Asia in Tibet, Nepal and Bhutan. It has a very impressive thick mane. Here we have the Baral, also called the Blue Sheep. It is another caprid from Asia with very impressive thick horns. I included the Tibetan Antelope or Chiru here as well. It lives in high attitudes in Tibet. Males of this species have very long and impressive horns. They are cold and sort of look like antelopes, but they also belong to the Capret family. The Shami is a beautiful ungulate native to mountains of Europe with the characteristic white markings on its head. I know that we already have the Alpine Ibex in the game, but the Nubian Ibex is a very interesting species that lives in rocky mountains of Africa. It is often kept in zoos with geladas and baboons. I would also love to have any species of more domestic goats in the game, for example the pygmy goat or the Numbian goat. They are a staple for all the petting zoos and I know that the petting zoo pack is very requested by a lot of you guys. Another very underrepresented group within the hoofstock that is very popular in zoos are deer. We only have the red deer and the fallow deer. The species that I think could be added are the Paradavids deer, also known as Milu. It used to be extinct in the wild and through the efforts of zoos it has been reintroduced to the wild which highlights the importance of zoos in saving critically endangered species. The Sambar deer is one of the largest species of deer in the world and it is native to southern Asia. This is the Barasinga, another Asian species also called the swamp deer. It has the most impressive antlers out of the all Asian deer. The second largest species within the deer family, the Roosevelt elk, is also missing in the game. This large animal with enormous antlers comes from North America. America. This is the most widely distributed ungulate in Americas, the white-tailed deer, which is called after the white underside of its tail that it rises when it's alarmed. The roe deer is a smaller species that lives in Eurasia. They are really common in my country and I would love to see them in Planet Zoo. Talking about the smaller species of deer, here we have the tufted deer, a very unique species with black tuft on its forehead and long fang-like teeth for the males that comes from Asia. This is the smallest deer species in the world, the Pudu. It comes from South America and it is so adorable. Here are two species that have the deer in their name, but technically they don't belong to the deer family. Another ungulate with long tusks, the musk deer. Just like the musk ox, it has the musk glands and unlike deers, it doesn't have antlers. It comes from Asia. The tiny mouse deer is actually neither deer nor mouse. They are the smallest hoofed mammals in the world that were actually discovered not long ago and have become really popular at zoos. They also come from Asia. Let's move on to something a bit heavier, the cattle. My previous list included the large gaur and I would love to add some more species. First of all, the yak, that is native to Himalayas and has a long shaggy fur to protect it against the cold. Next up, the gael, large domestic cattle from Asia that is believed to be domesticated from the wild gaur. Zebu is sometimes called the camel cow because of its hump on the shoulders. It is another Asian species that can withstand high temperatures. The Ancole Vatusi cattle is known for its enormous horns. It is an American breed that originated from African Senga cattle. The smallest subspecies of the African buffalo, the African forest buffalo, has distinctive reddish-brown coat. It lives in the rainforests of West and Central Africa. 
During my recent visit to the Tier Park Berlin, I saw three different equids for the very first time in my life and I decided to include them here as well. The model of the recently added Somali Wild Ass is so beautiful that I would love to have more equids in Planet Zoo. This is the Eastern Kiang, the largest of all the wild asses. It lives in Central Asia. The Onager or Kulan also comes from Asia. Unlike most horses and donkeys, it has never been domesticated. Domesticated. It is one of the fastest mammals that can run up to 70 km per hour. This is another contender for the petting zoo pack, the Plateau Donkey. This is one of the largest breeds of donkey that comes from France. It has distinctive coat which hangs in long ungroomed locks. All three swines that I included in previous wish list, the colored peccary, the wild boar and the red river hawk ended up being added to Planet Zoo. Call me a prophet! I I however wanted to add one more species here. The Visayan warty pig is critically endangered species that is native to Philippines. Currently a lot of zoos participate in conservation programs that greatly contribute to saving this animal from extinction. Let's move on to the next group, the rodents. I am so happy that the African crested porcupine has been added to the game, but I would love to see more species in here. The North American porcupine is the second largest rodent in the North America after the North American beaver. It loves to climb trees unlike its African cousin. The next porcupine, the Brazilian porcupine, lives in tropical forests and has a large, distinctive nose and long prehensile tail. I would love to see any species of squirrel in Planet Zoo, but to me the tree-colored Prevost squirrel that comes from Southeast Asia is the most beautiful species out there. This next animal sort of looks like a beaver with a rat tail. This is the Nutria, a semi-aquatic rodent from South America that was introduced to North America, Europe and Asia. Even though the roster of marsupials got bigger with recent additions of the Tasmanian Devil and Quokka, there are still some animals from this family that I would like to see in the game besides the ones that I already mentioned in my last list. For example, the Numbat, the striped endangered species that mainly eats insects. The Quoll is a carnivore native to Australia and New Guinea. It has a brown fur with small white spots. Next up, here we have the Greater Bilby, a long-eared, rabbit-like nocturnal marsupial native to Australia. I would also add a new species of wallaby to the game, especially the beautiful yellow-footed rock wallaby, known as one of the most colorful macropods. The wallaroo is another macropod intermediate in size between the kangaroos and the wallabies. This more arboreal marsupial is the bear couscous, native to Indonesia. It spends its days eating leaves and resting, similar to the Australian koala. The sloth bear that was added recently to Planet Zoo was also on my list, so let's replace it with a new species. The American black bear is highly requested by the community. It is a middle-sized bear native to North America and is one of the most widely distributed bear species. I added some more groups to my initial wish list, and the first new group are the canids. It's been a while since a new wild dog has been added to the game. I love dogs and I would love to see more of them in the future. The Ethiopian wolf is one of the world's rarest canids and Africa's most endangered carnivore with a beautiful rusty red fur. Another African species is the black-backed jackal. It is a medium-sized canid with a distinctive black saddle on its back. Here we have the adorable bat-eared fox, another species that lives on the African savanna. It is named for its large ears that have a role in the thermal regulation. Adding this species would definitely raise awareness about the cruel for trade. This is the raccoon dog, named for its raccoon-like markings. They are very unusual among canids as they hibernate during cold winters and can climb trees. Unfortunately, thousands of those animals are bred and killed for their fur, along with its cousin, the Japanese tanuki. We covered the dogs, so now let's focus on the cats. I know that so many of you would love to see the stunning ocelot in the game. It is a medium-sized spotted wild cat native to Central and South America. This cat is similar to the ocelot but is a bit smaller and has larger eyes. This is the Margay. 
The fishing cat comes from South Asia and is called after its fishing abilities. It can even dive to catch fish. Guess not all the cats hate water. One of the smallest cats in the world is the rusty spotted cat that has beautiful large eyes. It lives in India. I just cannot believe that we still don't have the serval in the game. It is a really common zoo animal that comes from Africa and is known for its long legs. Another very requested cat is the African leopard, an agile hunter and skilled climber with beautiful pattern on its fur. The grumpy looking palace cat or manul is another very well known species that would be a perfect fit for the game. It lives in colder regions of Asia. The jaguar randi is a very unique cat that comes from Americas. It shows several features seen in mustelids such as the otters and weasels, such as the elongated body, short legs, small head and ears, and elongated elongated tail. There are four bigger reptiles that I think would make perfect additions as new habitat animals. The models of reptiles in the game are some of the best and I would love to see more. One of the most notable missing animal that the community has been mentioning for a very long time is the Nile crocodile. It is probably the most known and iconic of all the crocodilians and even though we have a lot of them already in the game, I think we could find a place for one more. Another crocodile that I would like to see mainly because of its critically endangered status but also unique horns on its head is a smaller Cuban crocodile. The African spurred turtles is the third largest turtles in the world after the Galapagos giant turtles and Aldabra giant turtles. It is quite a popular pet but in the wild unfortunately it is endangered. Initially I included the alligator snapping turtle in my exhibit animals wishlist but after giving it a second thought I think it is big enough to have it as the habitat animal. It is the largest freshwater turtle in the North America after all. My last group are again the animals that didn't fit into previous categories and I just had to include them in this video as well so here we go. The honey badger or the rattle is a black and white mustelid that lives in Africa and part of Asia. It is known for destroying the beehives to get the honey and larvae and this is how it got its name. This is the African civet, a large vivid native to Sub-Saharan Africa with a beautiful fur and impressive crest on its spine. Here we have the yellow-throated marten, an omnivore from East Asia with a very unique coloration among the other species of martens. This little feisty guy is a mongoose. There are a lot of different species of mongoose and we actually already have one in the game, the meerkat. But there are other interesting species such as the banded mongoose, dwarf mongoose or yellow mongoose. The unique thing about them is that that they are immune to the venom of the snakes that they sometimes hunt. It's hard to believe that the rock Hyrax is closely related to the elephant. It lives in big social groups in Africa. This arboreal animal with long prehensile tail and droopy ears is the kinkajou. It is the only species in its genus which makes them super unique. It is native to South and Central America. The aardwolf belongs to the same family as the hyenas and is the smallest species in this family. Unlike other hyenas, it feeds on insects, mainly termites and can eat up to 300,000 termites during a single night. With so many small animals recently added to the game, I believe that the rabbit would be a perfect contender and a nice addition to the petting zoos. There are so many different breeds, for example the English, Danish or French loop that I think would make a perfect addition to the game. The last animal on my list is one of the most requested animals by the community, the Pacific walrus. It has been a well since we get a new pinniped in the game and this one is very interesting large species with the characteristic tasks. This is all when it comes to my updated list of all the animals that I would love to see in Planet Zoo one day. We covered exactly 98 additional species of my favorite animals which makes a total of 160 species that I would love to see in Planet Zoo. Even if several of those would be ever added to the game I would be so happy. 
happy. Planet Zoo has such a crazy potential for new species, new animals, that will make this game even better. I honestly don't want to see the end of the support for this game because of this crazy potential. But if it will be ending soon, I will obviously be okay, but I am really hoping for Planet Zoo 2 one day. I think that Frontier might be saving some of those more popular animals for the future DLC for the second version of this game. Let me know down in the comments if this list included some of your favorites or maybe you have some other animals on your list that were not included here. This is all that I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video like this. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, leave me a nice comment. Tell me what you think about my list. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!